In this video, we will learn to solve the equation secant of x times cosecant of x is equal to 2 times cosecant of x. Given to us, secant of x times cosecant of x is equal to 2 times cosecant of x. Taking 2 times cosecant of x from right hand side of the equation to left hand side gives us secant of x times cosecant of x minus 2 times cosecant of x is equal to 0. Taking common factor cosecant of x out we get cosecant of x times secant of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Above expression gives either cosecant of x is equal to 0 or secant of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Let us first find the solutions to the equation cosecant of x is equal to 0 in period of 0 to 2 times pi as cosecant function is a periodic function with period of 2 times pi. We know value of cosecant of 0 is 0. We also know value of cosecant of pi is 0. Now, let us find the solutions to the equation secant of x minus 2 is equal to 0 in period of 0 to 2 times pi as secant function is a periodic function with period of 2 times pi. Taking minus 2 from left hand side of the equation to right hand side gives us secant of x is equal to 2. We know value of secant of pi upon 3 is 2. We know the value of secant of x repeats after the interval of 2 times pi. So secant of 2 times pi minus a is equal to secant of minus a. We also know the famous trigonometry identity secant of minus a is equal to secant of a. The proof of the trigonometry identity is given in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. Application of the above identity implies that secant of 2 times pi minus pi upon 3 is equal to secant of pi upon 3. As 2 times pi minus pi upon 3 is equal to 5 times pi upon 3, so secant of 5 times pi upon 3 is equal to 2. So the solutions of the equation secant of x times cosecant of x is equal to 2 times cosecant of x in the interval of 0 to 2 times pi are 0, pi upon 3, pi and 5 times pi upon 3. Let us find the general solutions. As we know, the value of secant of x and cosecant of x repeats after an interval of 2 times pi. So, the general solutions are 2 times n times pi, 2 times n times pi plus pi upon 3, 2 times n times pi plus pi and 2 times n times pi plus 2 times pi minus pi upon 3 where n is an integer. Further simplification gives us the general solutions are 2 times n times pi, 2 times n times pi plus pi upon 3, 2 times n plus 1 times pi and 2 times n plus 1 times pi minus pi upon 3. Combination of solution gives us the general solutions as n times pi and 2 times n times pi plus n minus pi upon 3. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that 
you get the notifications of my new videos share the video and do write in the comments i am eager to listen to your thoughts if you have any question related to the video or if you think i should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested please write in the comments thank you